Hey Kini Kids, welcome to online learning. Our kindergarten is looking a bit empty and you will be at home. So, this is how we're going to do things. I'm going to try and teach you things from here all the way into where you are. Maybe you're in your living room, maybe in your bedroom. We're going to do our best. I'm going to do my best to teach you from here. Okay, so today we are learning about the letter C. Here it is here. Here it is here. And there it is there. There's two. One is the uppercase and one is the lowercase. C makes the sound. Can you make that sound at home? We do this so we know where the sound comes from. It comes from down in our throat. Let's try it together. One, two, three. One more. K is for cat. K, cat. Can you hear the k sound? Let's listen to the word. Cat. K, a, t, cat. Oh, there's also a car. Car begins with a k as well. K, a. Can you hear the k sound? K, a. Car. Hmm. I know a book about a k word. It's a. It's an animal that swims around cans. It's quite big. It's green, and it begins with a k. Do you know what it is? You got it. It's a crocodile. We're going on a croc hunt. Can you hear that? Croc hunt. Ooh, here they are, going on a croc hunt. We're going on a croc hunt. We're going on a croc hunt. We're going to find the big one. I'm not afraid. We're as brave as brave can be. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six friends going on an adventure. They're going hunting. I wouldn't want to go on a croc hunt, would you? Mm. Watch out! What is it? A water hole? A wet, reedy water hole? We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We're going to have to go through it. What sound do you think it makes? That's right. Look at them, all swimming. Look at Wombat. He's not even swimming. He's underwater. We're going on a croc hunt. We're going to find a big one. I'm not afraid. We're as brave as brave can be. Watch out. What is it? Sand? Hot, trickly sand? We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We'll have to go through it. Hot, hot, very hot, 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 very hot. Oh, look at the dog. Woo, it's burning his feet. That looks like me at the beach sometimes. Hot, hot, very hot. Woo. Oh, who didn't make it? Can you see there someone around the tree? Snake didn't make it. Oh, it was too hot for him. How many friends are left going on this adventure? One, two, three, four. We're missing two. There's five. And the cassowary got stuck there too. Let's see who's going to make it next. We're going on a croc hunt. We're going to find a big one. I'm not afraid. We're as brave as brave can be. Watch out! What is it? Rocks? Red rickety rocks? We can't go over them. We can't go under them. We'll have to go through them. Click clackety, click clackety, click clackety, click clackety. Can you make that sound? Click clackety, click clackety, click clackety. I think that's their feet as they bounce along over the rocks and as they climb. Oh, which animal didn't make it? Hmm, can you see an animal who's stuck? I can see one. Turtle. Oh, he's stuck. Only two left. Looks like dog stuff as well on this page. We're going on a croc hunt. 
We're going to find a big one. I'm not afraid. We're as brave as brave can be. Watch out! What is it? Scrub? Spiky brown scrub? We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We'll have to go through it. What is scrub? Hmm. Have a think. What do you think scrub is? Look at the picture. Scrub is like bush. It's another word for bush. Thick bush. There's sticks and leaves and bushes. You might have some scrub in your backyard. You might see some scrub in a park. These animals are moving through the scrub and often it's tricky and tight. So they make a sound like this. Scurry, scrunch, scurry, scratch, scurry, crunch. As they're moving through. Uh-oh. This looks like a place where a crocodile might live. We're going on a croc hunt. We're going to find a big one. I'm not afraid. I'm a little bit. We're as brave as brave can be. Watch out. Oh, what is it? A swamp. A dark, spooky swamp. Oh no. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We'll have to go through it. Don't go through. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Can you do that at home? Sneaky, 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 sneaky. I am now. <gasps> We're going on a croc hunt. We're going to find a big one. I'm not afraid. We're as brave as brave can be. Watch out! What is it? Over there! Over where? Two brown glowing eyes. Great big jagged scales, sharp pointy teeth. Ah, it's a crocodile! <gasps> Everyone, run back through the swamp! Sneaky, sneak, sneaky, sneak, sneaky, sneak, sneaky, sneak, sneak, sneak. Every hurry through the scrub, crunch, scurry, crunch, scurry, crunch, scurry. Over the red rocks, click, clackety, click, clackety, click, clackety. Oh, here comes the dog. He's not stuck anymore, and the turtle looks like he's helping his friends. It's a good thing to do, isn't it? Help your friends. Race through the sand. Hot, hot, very hot, 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 very hot. Swim across the water hole. Swimming. Phew! We're safe. Now, what will we play? Hey, what's the crocodile doing there? I thought, I thought that crocodile was bad. Maybe, maybe he's their friend. Maybe they weren't going for a crocodile hunt after all. What do you think they were doing? Maybe they were going to find crocodile because he was at his mum's house. And maybe they were just pretending they were going on a croc hunt. He looks like part of the team. They've all got colours on. Wow, what do you go? Now we're gonna make a crocodile. Would you like to make a crocodile at home? Miss Emily's gonna make a crocodile with you. Come on, let's go see what she's doing. Hey, Kindy Kids, we're gonna make a croc so you guys can go on a croc hunt at home. I made one before and I coloured in the paper because this one doesn't, I don't use green paper. So if you don't have green paper at home, you can just colour in. But today, I'm gonna show you how to do it with green and white paper. So, you're going to need green and white paper, two lids, a black texture, and some glue, and some scissors. So first, I'm going to glue the two pages together. Glue all over. Put the lid back on. You don't want your glue to dry out. So, I'm going to put the paper on top. And now they're stuck together. It's like one big paper. 
then I'm going to fold it in half. And I'm going to cut along here. I'm going to first I'm going to get my texture. And I'm going to cut along that line. Shots. I'm going to turn it into a nice, maybe a mean crocodile, a hungry crocodile. So inside, oh, I've got some pencils. I'm going to have to get some pencils. I'm going to need, silly me, I'm going to need red and I'm going to use black. But you could use other colours if you want. So inside, so this is inside the crocodile's mouth. Ooh, this guy, I'm going to have some teeth and a tongue. I'm going to do big, sharp teeth. My spikes. So we can eat things with. And to the other side. Lots and lots of sharp teeth. Then I'm going to do a big tongue. I'm going to colour it in. Okay, the inside of the mouth. Ah. <laughs> now for its face, I'm going to need some eyes. So I'm going to use these as some two eyes. I'm going to glue them onto my crocodile. So I'm going to get my glue. I'm going to make it all sticky. I'm going to miss this on one side. Put my lid back on my glue boop, and stick them on my crocodile. Now I'm going to get my black texture again, maybe just some dots for the eyes. Too big. Scary eyes or shiny eyes. I'm going to do a nose. So I'm just going to do two circles for the nose. Oh, and there's my crocodile. And he has big, sharp, scary teeth. He has a tongue in there too. Maybe you guys can make one at home. We might go on a croc hunt with this later. Back to you, Mr. Crabber. Hey, kitty kids. Welcome to uh, Devotions Time. We're going to talk about God in this time in particular. And I'm going to read you a special book, which is one of my favourite books of the year. It's called The Garden, the Curtain and the Cross. But before we do, why am I reading this book? Because it's Easter time. We've just had Easter. And just in case you didn't have any Easter eggs, I've got heaps here. In fact, ooh. Mr. Crabber loves chocolate. How many do you think I should eat? One, two, mmm. Well, there's no one watching, so maybe I'll just have one. Want me to show you a special trick? Oh, no, I didn't even eat it. I was just tricking you. Mm -mm, might say that for later. I hope you haven't had too many. Mm. Time for Easter. Hmm. Let's look at this book. The Garden, the Curtain, and the Cross. Is that what Easter's about? I 
Let's have a look. The garden, the curtain, and the cross. Let's go. <clears throat> a very long time ago, right here in this world, there was a garden. Serious? In this garden, everything was wonderful. The world was full of laughing and playing and smiling and fun. There was nothing bad ever. There was no one sad ever. And best of all, seriously, look at this little sheep laying on this little line. There was nothing bad. That means the place would have been perfect. Wow, that would have been lovely to be there. Look, there's two people there as well. Who else was there, huh? God was there. He made it all. He was in charge of it all. And he loved it all. People could see God, speak to God, and just enjoy being with God. Wow. It was wonderful to live with God. But then one day, wow, there's, this guy's name's Adam, and this is Eve. They were the first people God made. And they got to talk to God every day. But guess what? People did a terrible thing. They decided they didn't want to do what God said. They decided they wanted a world without God in charge. That's what we sometimes do. We want a, we want a world where I know best and I know the best more than anyone else. And these people thought they knew more than God. God calls the sin. Sin spoils things. And sin has no place in God's wonderful garden. What does spoil mean? Sin spoils things. Spoiling is like when you have a fruit and you leave it in your fridge for way too long and you start to get squishy like a banana and then it turns black. Oh, then it gets stinky. Ugh, it's called spoil. The fruit has spoil. Don't eat it when it's black. Ugh, yuck. Well, that's what sin does. Sin spoiled us. It spoiled the garden. Oh, it turned us yuck. You can't live. God had to say this. You can't live with me anymore in my garden anymore. And he sent them outside because we spoiled things. We didn't listen. To show the people that they had to stay outside, God put some warrior angels in front of the garden. The angels were like a big keep outside. Now like a big, stop here, you're not allowed to come in, I'm sorry. Now things were spoiled. Things were sometimes bad, and people were sometimes sad. Oh, that's what happens to kidneys sometimes. We don't share our toys and the other kid cries. That's what happens, doesn't it? But people still keep on sinning because they didn't want God to be in charge. So no one could come into God's wonderful place because God said, because of our sin, you can't come in. These people are angry at each other. This, this girl's feeling lonely and sad. <sighs> We're spoiled. We can't come in. There's nothing we can do. How are we going to get to God then? Surely he has a plan. God wanted the people to remember. It's wonderful to live with him, but because of our sin, we can't come in. So he told the people to build a big special building. He called this his temple. He would be in that temple. In the middle of the temple was the most wonderful place in the world, the place where God was, and nothing bad and nothing sad. But it was very exciting. But then God told the people to put a big curtain around this wonderful place. How come you put a curtain? The curtain had pictures of warrior angels on it. It was a big keep out sign. Could the people come in? It was another one of these. Another big keep out sign. Can you see the angels with the big X? Yeah, they are there. We can't come in. For hundreds of years, the temple curtain reminded the people but that it is wonderful to live with him, but because of our sin, we can't come in. That's terrible. How are we going to get in there and see God? Who's going to save us? Babies became grown-ups and had babies, and those babies became grown-ups and had babies, and those babies had grown-ups and they had babies. Wow. 
there were many children in the well. Hundreds of summers and winters passed by and the key found curtain stayed in the temple. Huh. No one was able to get in there. Because we've all done the wrong thing. Then one day, God's son came to live in this world as a person. Serious? His name was Jesus. Jesus always did what God said. Jesus was not spoiled. He wasn't spoiled. He never sinned. Look at him caring for these kids every single day. Can I do that? No, of course you know I can't do that. I always do the wrong thing, at least once a day. Is that okay, bud? We all make mistakes, and that is okay. This is why, because God starts something special. And Jesus visited the temple with a keep out sign hung. In that temple, Jesus said that God had sent him to open the way back to God's wonderful place where there would be nothing bad and no one sad. Wow. How are we going to get in there? How's he going to open the curtain? What's he going to do? Huh? But God's, the people still do not want to let God be in charge. So they decided to put Jesus on a cross to die. It was the most bad thing that had ever happened, and it was the most sad time of all. But Jesus had a plan. He always planned to die on the cross. What a strange plan. Why would God's son plan to die? It's not a good plan if you ask me. Oh, this is a big page. On the cross, Jesus took our sin. All the bad things we do and all the sad things they cause. Jesus took them for all of us. And when he did, something amazing, astonishing, astounding happened. All of the things, all of the fighting, all of the heartache, all of the angriness, stealing. Wow. He did that for me. He took it. And when he did, the curtain tore. God had ripped up the keep out sign. God's wonderful place is open again because of Jesus died. We can go in. Huh? Yes. After Jesus died, his friends put him in a tomb and they were very sad. For two days, nothing happened. Then the next morning, Jesus' and friends went to go see him and he wasn't there. Something had come out. A little later on, Jesus' friends were all together and suddenly, Jesus was there alive. Suddenly his friends weren't sad. Now they were so, so happy. God had brought Jesus back to life so they could live in God's wonderful place forever. You mean, these guys got to talk to God? You mean, because that curtain's tall, can I talk to God? What about today, can I talk to God? And Jesus had sent everyone an invitation to come in and live with him. He tells us, God says it's wonderful to live with him, but because of my sin, you can't come in. But I died on the cross to take your sin, so not all my friends can come in. I can come in to meet God. I can meet God. Do I have to go to this special temple? No. God will meet you anywhere. It can be in your room. It can be in my classroom. It can be out in the bush. God will meet you anywhere. And one day, guess what happened? Mr. Crowther talked to God just like this. And Mr. Crowther never forgets that moment. The moment when I heard God speak to me. And that day I remembered, and I always remember, that God is real. And that's what Easter is about. It's the good news. It's the best news, because guess what? We once couldn't talk to God, but now we can. You can too. You can talk to him. You can tell him what your favorite color is. Tell him how things are going at home. Tell him what you need. He loves to hear you. I'm gonna go tell him what I need, and what I think just now. You can too, if you like. Have a great day, and I hope you have an awesome time at home. Love you guys.